Okay. And a very present happy Sabbath to you, Michelle, and Ms. Blackwood. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. Happy How are you and the Blackwood family this morning? We're doing great. We're doing great. Thank you, Marlene. Happy Sabbath to you. And how are you doing, Marlene? I'm good. God is good. Had a busy, busy, busy week. Yes. But, um, you know, it's Sabbath, and I'm hoping that after the service today, I'll be able to get a little rest. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, My niece that just returned from college. So, you know, when high school, boarding school. So, yeah, we'll spend some time with her today. Right. She is excited to share all of our stories on. Yeah. So we got to give her an air as she That's shares beautiful. her stories with us. But yes. I'm happy to be alive, happy to be well, and happy to be here, to be able Amen. to Amen. once again share, you know, yeah, yes. to share. If you live in Nassau, Bahamas, and you are available by 11 30 this morning, you can join us over at the Johnson Park Seventh day Adventist Church, where I will be. Just sharing a little bit about the goodness of God. Yeah. Amen. Prayer move how prayer moves heaven. Don't we yes. want to hear how God moves heaven? How we can how we can reach heaven? You know, let's just do that. So if you're available, come on by to Johnson Park Church. Let me know that you came by way of this invitation so I would know that you actually heard. <laughs> and, um, yeah, God is good. Well, today is another hot topic, pun intended. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's hot a hot topic. topic. Hot. Yeah, it's spicy, it's yeah. hot, and yeah. it's spring. You know, an incident happened last week, Sabbath, as I was at convention. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. It was apparent that a gentleman was having maybe a, something was going on anyhow. Mm. And uh, my sister, I said to myself, I will never leave home without my oh. first aid kit again. Mm. And my first aid kit will have at least two things in there, charcoal <laughs> and, and cayenne pepper. So even yes. this morning, as we were about to do, I said, Lord, please don't let me forget my container, cayenne pepper. I will yes. leave it in the car. And yes. in case somebody needs, I just need to have some charcoal too. Because yes. sometimes people are, people may be having, experiencing um, difficulties. It could be heart yes. attacks or whatever. Yeah. Remember I was in a class a couple of years ago. I was teaching that class. And the, one of the participants, she asked to borrow my cayenne pepper, which was only 40,000 units. Her husband was having a, suffering a heart attack. And she puts them under his tongue. And I said, didn't you take him to the hospital? She said, sister, look at him. He's fine. I said, okay. Oh. You know? So, hey, the fruit is in the pudding. So I was like, yes, he looks quite fine to me. And he never went to the hospital. He mm-hmm. proceeded to live a long life. And um, she knew that, that something was happening. I know last week's happened, something was definitely happening to a friend of mine. I wish I had some cayenne. I would have put it under that tongue. And I know that it would have helped to speed up the recovery. But we pray that he's well this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Any other yeah. experiences you've had with cayenne, Michelle? I have just always used it and always have it on hand. And I'm trying to remember now if I've I've used it just literally for um, if I'm feeling tired, weak. It kind of just increases the circulation, which mm-hmm. we're going to talk about, yeah. and makes me feel better. Yeah, and I've used it for uh, like making that maple syrup lemonade and kind pepper. Oh yes, I forgot. How can I forget? It was a long time. Do you know we started that when we went to college? Yeah, a long time. That was yeah, what, what was the that. name of his? That was I master can't remember. Cleanse, the master, the master cleanse. cleanse, man. Okay, I brought that to Nassau. Everybody used to call it the Marlene diet. Oh, <laughs> I've used it for getting a cut that won't stop bleeding. Uh huh. Oh, put yes. it directly on that cut. Yes, yes. Which we didn't yes. include. I forgot that we didn't include that, but I've used it and it coagulates it. Like that's it. It stops. Yeah, that that's right. Because I remember Mikey, my cousin, had called one day and she said, "Molly, Molly, someone's bleeding. They got cut." I said, "Cayenne, cayenne, cayenne." They were like, "What?" Word. I said, "Put cayenne. Pack it with cayenne." And yes. I was so happy I remember because I sure I didn't remember. We need to add that to our information. Yeah, yes, I forgot yeah, to add that. that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but kind of is very, very important. So be a digital disciple. Yeah. And by now, I think you would have shared our live. We have yeah. exactly yeah. about 45 minutes and we can be with you this morning because this, this has got a roll, pun intended. Yeah. So <laughs> Me um, too. 
Yeah, we all have a busy schedule this morning. We're so happy to be at the time that we can share yes. with you anyhow, that God would allow us to be able to do this. So we thank yeah. you for joining. I see Miss Joanne is here all the way from the Bahamas. Joanne, welcome. Good morning. Thank you, so thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to send in your questions and don't forget to share yes. our live with your friends and family. Thank right. you. Thank you. It's Lifestyle 360 and we are, <laughs> thank you so much, Van Quer. Van Quer. Keep up the good work. Thank you wow. so much. Thank you. Yes. It's Lifestyle 360. Go on, Michelle. So Leviticus 17, verse 14 says, For it is the life of all flesh, the blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh, for the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. And I don't know why, when I think of cayenne pepper, I think of circulation. So I was trying to find what takes to, that to go with. And for me, it was this, to, to see how powerful that the life of us individually, each person, the life is in that blood. And we need to have good blood. We need to have good, good circulation and to keep that heart pumping, to keep the cells oxygenated and to bring nourishment to the flesh. And I'm thinking of how powerful kind pepper is that it just increases circulation. If you will drink it right now, you will feel the effects of it immediately. It will alleviate pain. It will do so much increased digestion. And we're going to go over all this today, the power of the putting good things in the blood. Hmm. Wow. It's amazing because that's one of my favorite texts. I've oh, used yeah. it in almost every sermon when I talk about it. Yeah. And, oh. and you know something, I think I need to add it to this morning's, but it's a powerful scripture, yes. Yes. powerful scripture on um, the benefits of eating a clean and healthy diet. But there are incredible, incredible benefits of the cayenne pepper, um, some of which we already shared with you by way of our experience. But let's just pause to say thank you so much to Linda, who's joining us here. Uh, in thank you so much and happy Saturday. Morning. I know she already shared, so I didn't have to ask her to share. She, <laughs> Thank you. she is a digital disciple. Thank she you. has proven herself over the years. Though cayenne pepper is favorite is a favorite component in numerous recipes, it's worth noting that this fiery element also boosts a wide range of health advantages. The name cayenne pepper originates from the city of Cayenne in French Guiana. Ah. A territory on the northeastern south of South America, and this this city is believed to be the place where the pepper was first used or cultivated. So, what is cayenne pepper? It's actually the mem a member of the capsicum family, and that's where we get like our bell peppers and jalapenos and all that. And its relatives. We talked about that the abundant presence of capsicane, or let me pronounce this right capsicin, capsicin. So that's the active ingredient in cayenne pepper, is not only does not only contribute to its fiery taste, but also enhances the nutritional profile. So powerful stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna go on next. Um, cayenne pepper features prominently in various hold on marley next slide so cayenne pepper features prominently in various ayurvedic remedies so basically it's been used for thousands of years um, where it is often utilized to manage issues related to blood circulation additionally it's known for its capacity to what alleviate joint discomfort the therapeutic attributes of cayenne can be attributed to its active co component again that's capsaicin so cayenne pepper the most important natural remedy and benefit i would say is pain relief which we're going to go on to soon yeah um, matter so of fact i have a pain salve that i'm using right now because i have a little from the use of if you you know sometimes we put that we um let me turn my thing up. I'm sorry, I had a call. So we have we have pain. I have pain when I elevate my arm too often in that action when I'm yeah, doing yeah. the hot process. So 
I think yeah. I'm allergic to it, <laughs> but um, I have the little cayenne pepper in there. And then I rub that on. I had that on last night. Pain was gone. So I need to rub some on before I go to church. <laughs> but it yeah, really yeah. does help. It really does help. So the nutritional value, you did that one already? Your turn. Yeah, that's your yours. Okay, so cayenne peppers, cayenne peppers nutritional makeup is an impressive, as impressive as its potent taste, being a rich source of essential nutrients. It offers substantial quantity of vitamin A. It's crucial for the immune function, okay? Yeah. Vitamin A is what we use for our immune function and our immune system, um, the skin, and vision. We need it, okay? Yeah. The cayenne pepper also contains notable amounts of vitamin E, an integral um, integral for cell communication, cardiovascular well-being, skin health. Other significant nutrients present include vitamin C, B6, and vital minerals such as potassium, manganese. Um, nevertheless, the bioactive compound capsaicin primarily drives the numerous health advantages associated with cayenne pepper. So now we're going to look at some of the benefits of cayenne. And the first one we're going to deal with is pain, but we're going to talk about the first one that is migraines. So it anything to do with pain, cayenne pepper is exceptionally good. So migraines occur when there's a constriction of blood, um, of the blood circulation in your head. According to analysis published in Alternative to animals experimentation cayenne can help with migraines and so research have proven that mm -hmm. cayenne pepper so if you're having or suffering with any issues like migraine mm -hmm. try cayenne pepper you know <laughs> um so it also is good for cluster headaches because it inhibits the substance p and c GRP, which are these chemicals responsible for increasing inflammation and causing pain. So how would you use that? The how cayenne would... pain? Yeah. I would just drink it. Drink, um, a little. drink a little. Drink it. Put it in some water and drink it or your juice and get that cayenne in you. Amen. Uh, I need some this morning. <laughs> and you can also, I mean, you can also around yeah, your of course you can rub, it, rub, rub it. too. It mm -hmm. also increases your serotonin levels, mm -hmm. which re yeah. also reduce pain. Amen. So I love it. One for pain reduction. I love it. I love it. Guys, if you don't have any cayenne, you better go get some. Yeah. Okay. So it also helps with pain reduction, as Michelle has said already, and I often talk about it a lot. The yeah. capsaicin, a potent compound in cayenne, plays a significant role in mitigating both acute and persistent pain. So it may just be a brief something, something that may just passing through, but it could be also very persistent, like arthritis, very persistent. It does this by depleting a neurotransmitter known as substance P, which is a with, with a decreased level of substance P, the brain finds it more challenging to relay pain signals to the rest of the body. So interestingly, in certain situations, capsaicin has been found to be more effective than. Uh, I guess other um, medication. As that's result, all we need to talk about is it's actually it's not there. It's not there. It's not there. It's more effective than ibuprofen, mm. and it accomplishes this without any side effects. So that should have been there. Wow. You know, it, you know it's wow. the content. Yeah, because there's no side effect. There's no, no side, side effect. effects, guys. So yeah. it is so powerful, like as that of NSAIDs. And it, there's no side effects. So we should include cayenne pepper if mm -hmm. you're suffering from pain, arthritic pain and all that. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. great to include. I love it. I tell you, I've been I've been knowing of the cayenne pepper story for a while. I just absolutely love it. This is as a result, capsaicin creams, topical lotions are also recommended for such conditions as shingles. Remember this week we had somebody on the chat yeah. talking about shingles, yeah. neuralgia, arthritis, and even pain following surgery. So I hope that she is listening this morning. Um, that she would make a rub for her, yes. her husband so that he can utilize it for the shingles that he's experiencing because she said it was severe, severe pain. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it boosts your immune system. Boosting your body's innate defense mechanisms can be achieved by incorporating cayenne pepper in your diet. The pepper is an abundant source of minerals that stimulate the immune system. It's packed with, as we said before, vitamin A, often dubbed 
the anti-infection vitamin, playing a pivotal role in maintaining the health of the mucosal surfaces or the mucosal membranes. These surfaces comprising your skin, respiratory, and digestive tract linings, among others, form a critical first line defense against viral infections. Mm. So when you think about viruses, viral infections, you want to make sure you're protecting those mucosal areas in your body. Mm. Cayenne pepper would be the first defense. Mm. So vitamin C, cayenne pepper, zinc, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. NAC. Yep. <laughs> You know, a coffee animal. <laughs> I'm just yes. yeah. <laughs> lemon. Amen. You know. Amen. Amen. So moreover, cayenne pepper is an abundant in vitamin C, like we said before, robust antioxidant instrumental in safeguarding your immune system cell from free radicals. So the role of the white the white blood cells, as we know, is crucial in your body's immune defense um response. And vitamin C enhances their growth and effectiveness. Okay. Um, sugar decreases their growth and effectiveness, but yes. vitamin C boosts it, okay? And yes. so furthermore, capsaicin found in the cayenne pepper possesses anti-inflammatory properties that may alleviate chronic inflammation, um, thus boosting overall immune health. Therefore, the inclusion of cayenne pepper in your diet can contribute to a more robust and flexible immune system. This absolutely. It also helps to ease those joint pain. As previously discussed, capsaicin is associated with pain relieving benefits. Subsequent research suggests that topical application of an ointment which has been infused with capsaicin to aching joints can enhance both the pain and the overall condition. <clears throat> Given its anti-inflammatory properties, capsaicin proves to be an effective remedy for arthritis and also any joint discomfort. Yeah. And no side effects. And no that. side effects. That's the thing. No side effects. a lot of the medications, you know, that yeah. we, the doctors have prescribed for us over the years, we know that those medications are really, they have a lot of side effects. And yeah. I mean, the doctor's just doing his best, his or her best, trying to safeguard themselves and giving us something that we won't leave there. Because pain can kill. Pain is bad. Pain is horrible. Yes. Yes. You know, pain is horrible. You want to say welcome to the others who just came in? Oh, sure. Um, we mentioned, oh, Jenny Zonica, thank you for joining us. Good morning, Thanks, sister. Jen. Joan again, she says, What about weight loss? Would yes, yes it does. <laughs> you're running it ahead does. of us. It does, it helps because it's boost me metabolism, which we're about to talk about. We're about to talk about that. Um, Anjali, good morning and happy Sabbath to you and Boniface. They are coming to us from Rwanda, and we are so happy you're here, and we have. Alde, did you say good morning? No, I didn't get to say Alde. Oh, good morning, born. Sister Alde. Happy Sabbath to you and our Facebook user, who is Jean Didour. Thank you. Good morning. And he's from Rwanda. Blessings okay. to you all. Thank you guys for sharing this program. We are so happy when you share because sharing is scary. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yes, this is powerful. You know, this can save life um we'll talk about that later on i think marlene you started out talking cayenne yeah. pepper can save lives it has been used a lot to save lives yes it has it has um and, yes there's great. so much research out there yes. um on it that i don't see why people are even maybe even doubting it i don't think anyone doubts it though mm -hmm. i really don't i don't i have not heard people doubting no. um the power of the cayenne i have not yes. yeah but um, capsaicin found in cayenne is a key component of the cayenne pepper. It boosts the body's metabolic processes, so it helps to boost metabolism. A lot of times people are like, well, my metabolism is not working so well. It's so slow, especially as we age, yeah. um, we get older. That's yeah. something I've heard over and over and over again. It does this by enhancing blood circulation and initiating thermogenesis, your body's heat production mechanism. So following it, its intake, capsaicin has the potential to ramp up 
metabolism by as much as 20% for a period wow. extending a few hours. I just absolutely love that. Okay. Yes, yes. Interestingly, cayenne pepper has been observed to enhance athletic performance. This metabolic upturn may optimize fat burning, providing athletes with extra energy for their exercise regimes. And capsaicin can affect how strenuous exercise feels, potentially allowing individuals to extend extend their training duration and increase the intensity. I guess that's why you I like to go. So, I just go <laughs> so hard. Yeah. So that's really good stuff. So we yeah, have, to, we can stuff. have a little. I hope we also have this information that it also helps with curing um ulcers because many people are like I can't have it because I have no. I think I missed that. I, yeah. I, I you can have it. It actually heals it. ulcers. It heals. It heals. Ulcers. That's what we've used it for in the past. Yeah. We've used it on two people over yeah. the years that were suffering with ulcers. Yeah. And we told them go on cayenne pepper. And mm -hmm. even though it sounds crazy because of the spiciness, they were healed of their ulcers. So my yeah. husband has, uh, you know, two people I can remember right now that we've told go on cayenne pepper for mm -hmm. ulcers and it completely heals it up. It completely heals it. Amen. Helps lower blood pressure. Cayenne mm -hmm. peppers are high in potassium and low in sodium, meaning they can help lower your blood pressure. A clinical study involving humans showed that incorporating cayenne pepper as a supplement decreased systolic blood pressure by six points. Though it had no impact on the diastolic pressure, the researchers concluded that it held promising potential in the prevention of hypertension and risk factors for cardiovascular diseases. Further research has suggested a connection between capsaicin, the active ingredient in cayenne pepper, and a reduction in blood pressure and improvement in related symptoms. So mm -hmm. like angina, if that heart pain, mm -hmm. you know, numbness, mm -hmm. capsaicin achieves these effects by dilating the blood vessels, which results in lower blood pressure and improved blood circulation. Mm, amen. Furthermore, cayenne peppers are notably rich in the vitamin C and the beta carotene, you know, with the vitamin A, both being vital antioxidants that contribute to the reduction of blood pressure levels. Mm. Additionally, the capsaicin in these peppers influences the sensory nerves, thereby further assisting in the decrease of blood pressure. So mm. powerful stuff. I know, I know. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful information this morning. I hope you guys have been appreciating the segment thus far. And if you have, will you please continue to be that digital disciple and share this live? You think everyone's sharing and they're not. Yes, <laughs> okay. yes. So what will it take? Just press that button and share. Press that Don't be button. so selfish, you know. I learned something this morning. Do you know why most people leave the church? Because they have no friends. So let's not be, let's be friendly. Oh, that's the, how can yes. you be among a crowd of people and not have no friends? We it's are not, not friendly. We are losing our friendly. people. And yeah. how do you want to grow the church if you're not friendly? Why would you bring someone into an environment where they're not going to be loved and befriended? <laughs> that's, that's deep. <laughs> Thank if you I have me. a friend, I'm not going to go anywhere. So people, you want friends? Some of us are very lonely, you know. Go on there. Share so that friendly. very person that you saw that see, but maybe your best friend later right. on. So there yeah. you go. So it also helps to improve digestive health. And cayenne is associated with the enhancements um, in digestive health. It's capsaicin, there again, component, boosts the production of stomach acid and promotes peristalsis processes, which facilitate faster food breakdown, better digestion, wow. and increased nutrient absorption. So wow. I think that can also help with weight loss in itself. Absolutely. That, yeah. Increased performance. That's, that's what you want. Exactly. Yes. So additionally, by triggering intestinal movement, it can aid in alleviating constipation, which yes. metabolism has to do with what? Yes. All of that. Movement all of that. Getting body. relieving yeah. yourself. Yeah. yeah. So another remarkable attribute of capsaicin found in cayenne is its ability to eradicate ulcers. Oh, it's here. Oh, it's here. <laughs> if you encounter any stomach discomfort or pain following the consumption of cayenne pepper, it's recommended you should reduce the quantity. But it yeah. is definitely, yes. definitely a plus. It, oh, is, right. it is. 
Next, we're going to talk about the fact that it is helps prevent cancer. A study featured in anti-cancer research suggests that capsaicin, a chemical compound that's found in the pepper, could star, stave, stave off, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, or reduce the, you know, the time or... Give me another word for stave off, Marlene. My thinking. Oh, it reduces. It reduces the, the ability to for you to have mm -hmm. breast cancer by it cuts, off, it, it cuts it off. It stays. It, 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 it cuts off. off. The, yeah. Apotus. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. That, that's a deep study, that's especially here in the Bahamas, where we have so deep. much. Um, we have so much cancer. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's coming up. The word I'm looking for. What it, it? it curves the cell multiplication. Mm -hmm. So. It prevents that's those bad cells from multiplying right. or the cancer cells. Additional yeah. studies have mm -hmm. linked capsaicin with the initiation of apoptosis. That's the word. The process leading to the death of the cancer cell, which yeah. hinders the spread of these cells throughout the body. So basically, it kills cancer cells. That's the mm -hmm. word. Yeah. It kills it. That's what I'm saying. It cuts it off. Yes. If it's it's cut off, it can. That is like that alone. Yeah. Is another because there is enough it, reason for us to be no. using it, yes. And I remember, um, most natural place alternative centers they mm -hmm. incorporate cayenne pepper of in course. their protocols, of course, they do. Of yes, course they do. most of us do. Most yeah. of them do. For, furthermore, other research findings indicate that capsaicin can effectively manage prostate cancer, it also demonstrates various anti tumor capabilities contributing to the treatment of cancers in the breast, prostate, lung, and colon. Therefore, the consumption of cayenne pepper can serve as a preventative measure against different forms of cancer. Mm. For maximum benefits, especially in relation to cancer, capsaicin should be consumed consistently over a long duration. Mm -hmm. to harness its cancer-fighting properties, consider incorporating it in your routine. So it'll be ba basically you're using it medicinally in a sense. So you'd have to be doing it. Say you drink it in the morning um, before you eat, but you'd have to do it for a long period of time. And that no, you know, not that inconsistency. You need for it to work. So you need to incorporate it as part of your protocol. Amen. Amen. Next. So it helps with congestion. And I've used it over the years. I mean, I make we make we all make up the flu bombs. Everybody makes a yes, flu bomb. Yes, flu. So we all got a flu bomb <laughs> of some sort, yes. some recipe. And I found it to really help yes. with clearing congestion, yes. um, functioning as a natural exp expectorant, and has been traditionally employed to alleviate congestion related to colds and allergies. Um, interestingly, a study discovered that capsules filled with capsaicin the primary constituent in cayenne pepper were equally effective as readily available decongestants. <laughs> <laughs> That's false. Right. These are, you know, these are not just these. We're not just saying these things to just to make sound good. This is studies that are being done. Studies are there to prove. Yeah. That's amazing. So the study revealed that participants who consume cayenne pepper perceived it to be more efficient than those who took the placebo. That's Thank amazing. You. Next, we're going to talk about the fact that it lowers blood sugar levels research suggests that cayenne pepper could assist in sustaining balanced blood sugar levels animal studies have shown that capsaicin can influence glucose metabolism and insulin sensitivity thereby reducing blood sugar levels these findings bear encouraging implications for the management of conditions like diabetes although further exploration and confirmation in human trials remain essential. So this is another, another advantage to using it in your protocol. Amen. It also helps in protecting the heart. Studies have indicated that red pepper um, can restrain the production of thrombosine B2, an enzyme connected with inflammation and blood clotting, which could be particularly beneficial for individuals suffering from heart disease or stroke. And that's what happened in um, the case of the lady whose husband was suffering from um, a heart attack. And she knew because she is a medical missionary. 
So she yeah. was trained, so she knew what was happening to him. She could tell. And additionally, capsaicin found in cayenne pepper can avert cholesterol accumulation in your arteries, therefore, or thereby diminishing the risk of heart attacks and stroke. So that's good information to know. I think we should all have a little of it in our purse. So in the event something that is happening. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We can we can help the person until the ambulance gets there. Um, you know? Yes, absolutely. So always call 911, but yeah, you know, you, of course. You there, you just do what you have to do. Helps with blood circulation. Cayenne pepper may act as a circulator, circulatory stimulant. It dilates blood vessels, as we said before, meaning your heart doesn't have to work as hard to get the blood flowing through your body. It in, that means it increases your circulation too. This can help reduce your blood pressure and mm. protect again against heart disease. If you're taking medication for high blood pressure, it's advisable then you consult your doctor prior to integrating cayenne in your dietary routine. Mm -hmm. It might interact with certain drugs and trigger side effects. Also, steer clear of cayenne if you have low blood pressure or you're using an anticoagulant medication because then it makes your blood even thinner. Mm -hmm. it also, it's always essential to seek your doctor's advice before oh, really? commencing on any new regimen involving always. herbal supplements. Always, always, always check your doctor first. Listen, I think we all need this one. It reduces stress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is enriched with capsaicin, it can't, which we said already, um, that helps with stress busting capabilities. The research demonstrates that the capsaicin can aid, can aid in reducing cortisol levels um, therefore, cayenne pepper um, capsules should serve as an efficient approach to alleviating stress. It also may boost the generation of serotonin, a neurotransmitter associated with what? Emotions of joy and contentment that feel good. Okay. Yes. So yes. that's really good to know. Very, very good to know. Okay. So next, we're going to talk about the fact that it boosts energy. And who doesn't want more energy? Well, I need some. Yeah. <laughs> While some people turn to coffee or caffeinated energy drinks for an afternoon boost, cayenne pepper is known for providing a natural pick-me-up without side effects. Mm. The capsaicin in cayenne has been shown to improve blood flow through the body, which results in more oxygen and nutrients being delivered to your brain and your muscles. Mm. So yeah. get a natural high, use cayenne. <laughs> Now, this one I know I'm going to use. <laughs> oh, I tell favorite. you. You know, some people think you look old. Other people think you look young. And, you know, I don't even worry about it. Because I know that some people see you as, oh, you look old. The, you know, the, the moment I turned 50, anybody had this experience? The moment I turned 50, I'm not kidding you. The moment I turned 50, everybody in the food started saying, yes, ma'am. What? Yes. <laughs> and nobody knew I had turned 50, but it was <laughs> obvious to them. She, she's, like 50. she's a mom now. She's not a. <laughs> I had a beautiful comment this week. A young man, I said to him, I said, I know you. I said, Don't you remember me? We grew up together. He says, I'm about to be 60. I said, Me too. He said, What? <laughs> I said, yeah, I saw it. You know, so now today I may see somebody that may be like, You look as old as your mother. <laughs> well, hey, what are we going to do? We're going to get anti aging. We're going to use this anti aging benefit called the cayenne. And the studies have indicated the remarkable anti-aging effects of cayenne pepper. Um, it says that this spice was discovered to boost mitochondrial, I don't know if I'm saying that right, production by half, according to a 2004 research published in Cellular Biochemistry. Regular consumption of cayenne pepper could be a potent strategy to counteract certain aging symptoms. Amen. Oh, beautiful. Amen and amen. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's that it. it. We're done. It was oh, long. I made sure I didn't it. Do it too I was long. just about to have some real fun. <laughs> Amen. Look at right. who's gonna try some cayenne. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna put some in my water before I leave the house here today, yeah. so that yeah. I can have that boost of energy that I need because I didn't get to do my coffee animal, <laughs> and <laughs> also because yeah, it's just good for me. I and know it's gonna clear good. your mind, you know, Marlene. Yeah, it's I need keep that. You alert and clear. I and need it. I need it. Yeah. I need it. I need it. Let's go back at these comments that were made. Yes. Um, 
Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. We got a far way to go. Hallelujah. Okay, there we go. There we go to Aldith. Good morning. Yes, we said morning. good morning to Aldith already. Beautiful. Thank Lord, you so much I'm for joining us. Benita, my, my sister. Benita, good morning. Happy Sabbath to you and family. Amen. 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 Go on, Michelle. Joanne okay. says, I always used to buy cayenne pepper. Hold on. Let me remove this from the You screen. got Lorna already, Marlene? Oh, where? where? Maybe I'm going too far. Back. No, go back to Joanne. Joanne oh. says, I always used to buy cayenne pepper oh. for my food. Okay, so the one you're purchasing for food is um milder. It's, uh, milder. It's only 40,000 heat units. Yeah. You can purchase the hotter ones in the health food stores. Yeah, um, or Amazon. Or Amazon, but she lives in Nassau, so it's easy. To okay, do. okay, health food store. Yeah. The health food stores here in Nassau carry it. 90,000. Um, yeah, 90,000 heat units you can get from, from the health food stores here in Nassau, or more, or more, okay? Yeah. So it's good to do that. Because, I mean, the one you're getting in the food, it's good, but it's not going to be as potent. As potent, yeah. It's yeah. As, potent. Not as medicinal. Uh, more culinary. Who else, Marlene? Okay, all right. Um, Joanne says, "What about weight loss?" Yes, 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 yes. Angelique and um, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping in. Anika Stirrup, good morning. Thank you so Hi, much. Good for morning, Hi. David. Thank you. Good morning, and David. Lawrence. Thank you. Your 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 sister in law. You said it. Eh? Your sister. Yes, yes, Benita, my sister in law. Amen. Thank you so much. Hey, Hi, Lorna. Good morning. Happy Sabbath. Thank you for joining. The Kayan from Rwanda have the same benefits? Uh, yes, it does. I imagine it may have more. <laughs> yes. yes. You can grow yes. the kind of You can you grow, grow it. Right. I'm growing it right now. Yeah. 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 I've cried yeah. in my garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, just dry it. You grow it? I had it. I tried to grow it, but I, like I said, I'm a good spurter, but I'm not a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning to be a gardener. Don't y'all knock me. But I'm learning yeah. to be a gardener. But I bought the seeds. They're here. It just couldn't. So, so Marlene, the process is you're gonna grow it, harvest it, yeah. dry it, and you dry it, blend yeah. it, or pound it until it's fine yeah. powder. Yeah, that's it. And store it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Donna says she's loving this. I love so much cayenne pepper, Emily. Which yeah. has more important, cayenne from garden or cayenne from the industry? The garden always is going to be the best because, mm -hmm. you know, you grow it, you, I think the best, or always the best is going to be what you grow. Yeah. 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 Diana's making a comment. Yeah. I learned that. I'm telling you, I'm learning so much as I'm here in these quiet hours. 93% um, of persons leave church because they have no friends there. And if we could just be a little more friendly. I remember times when my parents used to bring people home. We would be so upset sometimes. We just wanted to be us sometimes. But my parents never listened to us. They would have sometimes. My dad would feed as much as fifty people here on a side, but that was just his way. Yeah, that's used to be. It, it was evident in their their burial because you couldn't fit the people, house the people for the funeral because of how kind hearted they had been over you the see, years. You, you see. Know. Yeah. You see. Thank you, Joel. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Hold on, I missed one. Danatha, thank you. Yeah. Muzika, thank you. Benoist, oh no, there's another person. Bosco says, hi. hi I have can in my garden. I often eat for appetizing. I know. Okay, you eat that. Good stuff. Yes, thank you for joining us. Oh boy. I'm sorry, I got to take this call. This is the pastor from the church. Give me a moment. I'll go to the door. Um, Benoit says, I'm watching from Adventist University from Rwanda. Thank you, Benoit. Thank you so much for joining and please share, share this with all the students that are currently on campus. And also Bakunda says, great job. And Sine, thank you, welcome for joining us. Um, Bakunda says, dear Michelle and Marley, you can eat cayenne pepper and garlic at the same time. Powerful, that's a great one, absolutely. They both increase circulation. They're both give you that antioxidant effect. They're both prevent cancer. They're both great for preventing cardiovascular disease and for the heart. So they're excellent. Yes, yes. And you can add extra vitamin C 
you can it depends on what you're using it for but yes 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 amazing powerhouse for preventing the heart disease and lorna says um low 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 they use it to auntie when you turn 30 then mommy when third 40 then mama oh they change your names <laughs> then mama when you turn 50 and now you're grandma <laughs> however grandma um at 50 um you can look you can start using anti-aging um stuff increasing including cayenne pepper to make when you go out people think that they won't look at you they'll be calling you mommy or they may be saying auntie okay so it's not too late to reverse the body is so powerful to reverse and to heal and to get rid of wrinkles so like for me i started you know i'm past 50 but when i go out people are thinking they're like you look just like your daughter i get that i just got that this week man you and your daughter look the same i because i i implement anti-aging a lot of anti-aging one of the things i do every single day is i eat berries and it has to be at least one cup of berries blueberries every single day i can't do it without my blueberries or just fruits and juices and so on and i realized that if i start now it's the best time to start it's always the best time for all of us here and start now it doesn't matter what you did in the past start now because the body is so amazing it can reverse it can heal and it's made to do so marlene is back Mar are you still you're muted marlene <laughs> you're muted <laughs> yeah. yeah um alliance until she sorry comes i'm sorry okay <laughs> yeah yeah Two i'm, more I'm here for you for go through the comments i'm sorry i am that's distracted fine, because fine. i have um i am under the gun <laughs> but that's fine that's yeah. fine. we want to we're gonna close out now 9 30 you said and we're almost there we have eight minutes yeah. okay so john says well i need to get some stronger cayenne pepper yeah 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 you have uh, to you have just to. at least have it on and it's like i said it's we said it before somebody has a heart attack you suspect it's a heart attack Remember, it has no side effects, so you, at least you can put it under the tongue and call 911. Amazing stuff. Um, Janice says, or Jan, um, I have, I now have to use more cayenne. Don't really use it so much. I know putting it under your tongue, she knows about that, can save lives in a heart crisis. Um, yes, yes, definitely alliance says you are the answers of our health problems thank you so much praise be to god we are you know these things we learned them over the years marlene and i and we've used them in our own lives and we know the benefits so we are so happy to be able to share them with you i know we're just we feel like that's our calling you know we know we confirm that for such a time like this, this is what God has placed on our lives to do. Both of us, Marlene and I, we left um, our careers, you know, to do this. And we started when we were both having young ones, when we had to rely on one income. We, you know, our families, we both started and we gave up everything just to do that because we felt a calling on our lives. And we didn't care what members family members said people would comment and say we did not care we knew that what god had told us to do this is what we are supposed to do and we're both giving thanks that we are doing it because when we started not many people were doing it or saying these things or it was far and few and we we just felt and know that we were answering god first and look at where even now the world everybody else is knowing that these things scientists they're catching up with things that we knew before and the research now is catching up to what we've been saying over 26 what 26 years ago so god to god be the glory i'm gonna run through so you yeah. are okay we said that then oh boy it's more comments coming in so marlene i you know my i okay, okay. Are you at, um, you are a finisher. I'll let you finish up because you're faster. <laughs> Marlene is more computer savvy than me. 
<laughs> with, you, you did Jan already with uh, giving it to um, which I middle ground is more? Oh, which middle ground oh, is more yeah. potent? Higher. You want to go higher? Higher. Yeah. You it is. It's in heat units. It goes mm -hmm. by heat unit. So forty thousand would be yeah. the one in the store in your supermarket shelves that they use for culinary uses. Yeah. Or when you go into the more potent, it'll, it'll be ninety thousand for medicinal purposes and the, all that we're talking about health benefits. Yeah. The thing about it is that, um, <laughs> according to some doctors, some people believe that it's not even like. Some people, some, some, there are different schools different. of science. You know, some people yeah. believe that you shouldn't use it every day. For Others culinary. believe that it's no big deal. So yeah. Yeah. I, I believe that um, if you use the 40,000 for cooking, then you definitely have to use a higher heat for medicinal oh, purposes. Yes. Then your body becomes so immune to it. You and if it's so immune to it, then we should cut down the possibilities of getting sick too. That's yeah. why. I, so I like this. Yeah. I like say a little about it for preventative. We, it is a fruit. Mm -hmm. It is high in vitamin C, and there have been research that show that people have implemented them as part of their lifestyle. Yeah, never get cancer. Yeah, never get these illnesses. So, I, I and I think you need to know your body too. Yeah, we can mm -hmm. give advice, but each people, you know, each person is going to react different to something. So you can test it on your body, but start little, like it says, always start because you don't want to overdo anything. Moderation is the key. Yeah. You know, that's but it. I've always used it. I am, um, I don't know. I've always. That's it. That's, that's the fact. Moderation is key. Yeah. Moderation is key. Yeah. No. Well, thank you, guys. Yes. Thank, thank you, you all for joining us. Thank you for praying for our ministry. Thank you for all you do to make a success out of this program each week. Because without you, there'll be no program. No problem. Right? We'll be talking to the four walls. Oh, and so oh, we nice. thank you very much for being our VIPs each thank week you. and thank blessing you. us with your presence. May God yes. wish you bless you today. Bless Let's you. get that music going before yes. we leave this place. Uh, so we have a nice finish. But we thank you very much, like I said before, for being a part of our family, our YouTube and Facebook family. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Pray for me as I go to minister to two churches and then back home prayerfully so we can get some fellowship and rest. There's another comment. So many. Bonnie Faith says, thank you for everything. Joan says, God bless you. Um, Levinson says, you are good teachers, mm -hmm. advisors, coaches. Sarah, hi, Sarah. And fantastic. That's what Celine said. And oh, Jan says she used it more since Marlene says it gives a kick to your foot. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean, I saw that. that was a good, yeah, because I, I, I call it my, my sidekick. They call it my yeah, sidekick. I do. I do use it. My recipes. In my videos, I say, don't forget the sidekick. I, I know. <laughs> It will just make that food pop. Like yeah. if you're missing something, what is it missing? Yeah. It's a type of kind of pepper. I'm sorry. It does. it does make a difference though. It does. But you don't need a lot. You know, you don't need a lot. I think it's okay just have a little spice. You know, we from the West Indies, right? The Caribbean, we like a little spice in our lives. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, bye, guys. You got to go. Bye. It's been fun, but I got to work. Yes. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>